In this tutorial, you'll learn how to work with objects. This includes placing objects in the scene, adjusting their size and position, animating the object, and uploading your own custom objects. So let's get started. Here we have an industrial scene with an inspector inspecting something. So let's give her something to inspect. You'll start by clicking on the Objects tab and scrolling through the list of objects until you find what you're looking for. You can also search for an object. In this case, I know I want the fragile box, so I entered fragile, and there it is in the list. Now before I place it into the scene, I'm going to look at where my playhead is in the scene. And right now it's at seven seconds. I would like the box to appear at about one second in. So I'm placing the playhead at the one second mark, and now I'm going to drag the box into the scene. And it appears right there as expected. We would like it to last the duration of the scene, so I'm going to drag the bar representing the object all the way to the end of the scene. When you click on the object, you get a menu along the top. It's got your settings, your flip tool, bring forward, bring backwards, and delete. You'll also notice down in the timeline that the bar representing the object is highlighted and these two little keyframe markers appear. And this is really handy because this is how you're going to animate your object. So let's say we want the box to appear here and then travel along the conveyor belt to the end. So what you're going to do is you click on your first keyframe and that's your starting point for the object. Move it over just slightly. And then if you click on the ending keyframe, it brings the playhead to the very end of the object scene. And what you're gonna do is you can either grow or shrink the object depending on what you're depending on the effect you want, or you can move it. So now, if we view the scene, we should see the box move from here to here. There it is. Toonly allows you to import your own objects as well which is really handy, especially because it'll allow you to import animated GIFs. You can also import JPEGs and PNG files. So let's start with a basic um, PNG file, and then we'll import an animated GIF. To do the imports, you go to Objects, click on Upload New Object, and then search your computer for it. I have a palette on the desktop that I'm going to bring in. It preserves the file name. If you don't want the file name, you can type over it, rename it, click Save and Upload, and there it is. Now, before I place it into my scene, I'm going to drag the playhead to my starting point, and I think I'd like it to start at the very beginning of the scene. Now I'm going to drag it into place, and I'm going to stretch it so that it lasts the entire duration of the scene. So now I have this palette that's going to appear here for seven seconds. We're going to want to adjust its size and position. So since it's so large, I'm going to drag it down until I can see my upper right corner and adjust it accordingly. So I think that's fine right there and let's see how the scene looks. Okay, and my box is moving towards the inspector. Now, this would be a great place to put a couple of gears to help the conveyor move. I just so happen to have an animated GIF of a gear, so I'm going to upload it right now using that same exact technique. So I'm going to go to Upload New Object, there it is on my desktop. Open. I think the name is fine. Save and upload. 
Again, I'm going to place my playhead where I want the gear to appear, and I think the beginning is perfect. Now I'm just going to drag it into place. I'm going to do, do it twice because we have two. Now I'm going to go down here and stretch them so they last the entire scene. And then we're going to go ahead and play the scene so that we can see the size and make our adjustments. Okay, so they're quite large, so we're going to shrink them down and then fine tune the positioning. I'll do the same on this one. Okay, that looks good. Let's play it from the beginning and see how our scene looks. There we go, and our gears are automatically animated all by themselves because we used a GIF. And finally, you can adjust some of the settings here on your objects. So let's go ahead and have the gears appear a little differently than the others. So I'm going to select a gear and I'm going to click settings and you have an in effect and an out effect. Let's have them grow in and shrink out. So I'm going to save. I'm going to do the same to this one. Row in, shrink out, and save. Go back to the beginning and hit play, and there. They grow in, and they start moving. Then at the very end, they're going to just shrink away. Yep. That's it for working with objects. Thank you for watching.